Hello everybody, welcome to the channel, it's uh, Rad, and uh, in this whole video we're going to look into Scorpio, Sun, Moon and also Rising, a uh, weekly tarot reading February 21st up until February 27th, uh, 2022, and uh, if you do enjoy uh, the content here on the channel and uh, you do wish to support these people, uh, all that you gotta do is just uh, subscribe, hit the notification bell and... Uh, like any of our video videos and uh, hit the notification bell so you do not miss any of our weekly uploads and as well live streams and uh, now with that said uh, moving straight away to the uh, draw the first card that we do Scorpio have and can we see the card yeah okay so we do have the eight of cups followed by the second one which stands as the ace of swords moving on with the third one that is going to be the seven of cups uh, followed by uh, the Ace of Cups, and uh, the final card for us, Scorpio, that is going to be the Six of Swords. All right, so we do have these five cards. That's great, and let's move now to the reading. Uh, it's so, Scorpio, you can see your cards on the screen, and uh, right off the back here, by the look of these cards, uh, this uh, is going to be a week where there isn't going to be a major focus out there. Uh, so we can consider that the week is going to be more or less with ups and downs and, and a bit chaotic if, if you can uh, classify it that way. Because uh, from one thing we are going to jump into, uh, into another and it is just it will be a week where there is going to be no, uh, how can I put it into words, a defined direction. That doesn't mean that the week is not going to be good. Uh, just the uh, the um ma the magnitude of how well the week is going to be will be defined by how far we are with our things and as i am saying how far we are with our things the start of the week is going to be rather rocky and truth be told i do prefer the start to be rocky rather than the end <laughs> But we do have a rocky start here with these two cards because uh, uh, with the Eight of Cups at the very uh, at the very start, it means that certain situations we are involved in are not going to be. The word is not pleasant. They're just not going to be satisfiable. It's as simple as that. We would have wished that they go in a different way or that they have developed um, in another in another light and so on and so forth but alas as we do have the eight of cups there it means that nothing at that point can be done but just to you know count your blessings if you will and uh count your losses as well and just move on but that doesn't mean that nothing can be done things to be fixed in the future and such of an unpleasant or rather like unsatisfiable situations are to arise in the future we are to prevent that and this is going to happen right after we kind of like count our losses here uh, with uh, the ace of swords where uh, that when that card shows up <clears throat> two things kind of happen now the first one it is that we're going to build up a big spiritual strength to push through our difficulties and swallow the bites that we have to, uh, or chew and swallow down the bite that we have uh, taken and uh, the second thing it is that we are to initiate uh, very serious and open conversations probably about our future and as well about how things are developing whether it is into our career or whether it is into our relationship uh, and just a quick example of these two cards it is that we had one expectations about our job things are not really uh, turning out the way we are expecting thus far nothing we can do for the things that are done by that point but we can negotiate our way through forward so the ace of swords here is going to represent where we do initiate the conversation with our supervisor boss so on to to find out more about the true diagnosis of the situation we are in so we can react to it appropriately uh, the redeeming factor here of these two cards it is that the Eight of Cups always carries on a positive incentive for the future, meaning that yeah, now situation, the situation either into our career or into our relationship is not ideal uh, by a far, by by a large margin. 
uh, it's it's not something we are very happy with but the future carries on a much better perspectives and for that reason we should not dwell in the present but instead uh, like the Ace of Swords suggests here, we should try to negotiate better terms for our future, for the job we are working, or for the relationship we are in. Also, the Ace of Swords uh, could represent certain secrets that are too immersed on the, sur on the surface, and if that's the case, these secrets are going to be neutral. Neither, neither bad, neither, uh, neither good. Uh, it all comes to what we are going to make out of that information. And this is as far as the down of the week goes. From there, uh, things should kind of like start gradually improving. And the uh, first improvement we can see here with the Seven of Cups. And uh, that is the middle of the week where we should already have negotiated our terms uh, with uh, either our beloved one or either with our boss. And now we can start thinking of what the future holds. Now, the Seven of Cups, it's a very, very neutral card. In fact, it's one of the most neutral cards in Tarot. And it does show that right now your dreams are plausible, but they are not for granted. This isn't a gift here. Uh, the, eight, the Seven of Cups it is like the mother's dreams for her newborn baby every mother has a big dreams about uh, her uh, her newborn either a daughter or a son which all of these dreams are possible i mean a mother may have a dream for her son or a, or a daughter to become a president of a country and that's possible but are they going to come true or not well yet remains to be known however what, she, what a person has to focus here at the middle of the week, it is that while it's uh, daydreaming, it's good for uplifting your uh, positive mood. Once you do define your dream, you should start making moves toward it, or we should start making moves toward it. But with the Seven of Cups, the moves, the moves that we are to do needs to be practical here. We should not get ahead of ourselves by a large margin. Now, redeeming factor of the Seven of Cups, it is that the, the stage is so early that a major error cannot be accomplished even if we try it really really hard so the worst that we can experience uh, from a wrong move or something wrong we say it's just a disappointment that is going to bounce us back into the starting stage where we can try anew and, one, and once we get things right here with the seven of cups the ace of cups takes place which is uh, from the mid towards the end of the week and uh, that is these are going to be really great times for us uh, almost as the ace of cups comes about we are going to forget here the uh, unple unfavorable or i don't know unsatisfiable state we had at the start of the week because with the ace of cups things are going to start shifting and uh, our situations are going to undergo a change that it is out of our control but it is far better change than, than something we could have done it's almost like a blessing from the heavens here that we're going to have whether it is within our romantic life or within our career this impending change coming about is going to set all of our concerns away it's just our problems whatever problems we have it's not even problems it's concerns whatever concerns we have about our future they will simply lose relevance because they are going to be completely covered up for example if you do if you are single and you do have a concern that's you are not going to fall in love well congratulations then the ace of cups kind of like shows that you are to fall in love here and uh, your concern is going to be no longer there and uh, these impending changes happening into our daily routine whether it is into our career or into our relationship they are going to transcend our daily reality into something we would love to experience here at the middle of the week it's just every single day is going to be a pleasure of living and that is going to build up our courage by the way because at the end of the week with the six of uh, with the six of swords we are going to become uh, the, the word is not exactly bold it's it's more like a courageous we are going to become a courage we are going to become courageous to make a move that we have contemplated in the past but we did not have the courage to do it well now we are going to have the courage and thus we are going to try uh, trespass not trespass but traverse 
a, a threshold of our fear, whether it is a fear to approach somebody and tell them how we feel, or, or it is a fear of establishing business, or it is a fear of, of just, I don't know, doing certain uh, routines into our life we are going to be afraid no more here we are going to understand that fear is some is the very first wall that stops you from uh, accomplishing a goal or a dream because we do have the daydreaming here in the middle of the week but thinking about something and dreaming about it is just not enough to make it happen real actions are needed and those real actions are to take place at the end of the week which should be rather very very successful and some unique case of the six of swords is as well uh, is as well if you do have uh, something you need people to flock for uh, it's like a, a uniting a collective that is to happen at the end of uh, this particular week so you will have the force necessary to uh to push forward but whatever we may find ourselves afraid from this uh, this particular week we will understand that we in reality there is nothing for us to be afraid of so uh that being said scorpio that was our uh weekly title reading hopefully guys uh, you do enjoy it and you do like it and we are to see each other next time until then bye